going to be using the quizzes tool. So to get started, you'll want to be inside of a course site, and you'll want to go up to Class Tools and select Quizzes from the drop-down menu. Now you're going to be entered into the quiz area. Now, the quiz tool is where you can manage quizzes that you've already created. You can go to the question library and create questions inside of Desire to Learn, and there's quite a few options. You can create true and false, multiple choice, multi-select, long answer, short answer, and more. There's also quite a few options that you have with, with a quiz. You can set a specific time limit. You can have a specific date range the quiz is open. You can set up grace periods. Maybe you want to give an extra day just in case, you know, students need one more extra day. You can go ahead and add users that have special access. Maybe you have one student with special needs in your course. You need to allot a little bit more time in the quiz for that student. You can do that. You can password protect, and there's some other options that you'll, you'll want to know. So to get started, there's a series of steps that you need to do. First, we're going to create the new quiz, and we're going to give this quiz, you know, a name. So I'm going to say quiz three. I can create a, t a category. I can link it to a grade item. I can export the grades to the to the grade area. And I can add a rubric. If, if a rubric was going to be used in this quiz, I could add it. Um, I could have an auto grade. So maybe this is a multiple choice 10 point quiz. And you know I can just have it automatically uh, release the grade to the students once they've completed it. You have a lot of other options. You can have some messages that you can you can include. Maybe you have an introduction to the qu the quiz for students. You know, welcome to quiz three. Please, you know, be sure to have reviewed X, Y, and Z. You can even have a he header and a footer. Now here you'll see quite a few options. You can set up the restrictions, restricting the date, the time, make it password protected, uh, IP address. There's quite a few things here. So I'm going to want to choose under restrictions to make it active. And then if I have a specific start date and time, I'm going to want to put those in. And I'm going to want to pull it, display it probably in the calendar so students know, hey, this quiz is going to be available on this date. It'll end on that date. I can add some additional release conditions. And then I can choose timing. Maybe this quiz is only going to be 30 minutes long. So I put in 30 minutes. And I can choose to enforce it. And I can choose to show the clock. I would recommend showing the clock, and the, um, if you want, you certainly can enforce it as well. But these are both options that you can select or deselect. So you can have a grace period as well. I think a five-minute grace period sounds good. And maybe I can allow a late submission of, you know, five minutes. Now, here is where you can choose some advanced availability. I can add users with special needs to have special access. So. I'm going to assign 120 minutes, and I'm going to give that to one student, maybe that I know needs a little bit extra time. But you can see you can assign a special grace period, allow a late submission. You have a lot of options there. So I'm just going to choose Add Special Access. That's going to add access for that student. Then you can go to the attempts and choose how many attempts for this specific quiz students can have. I'm going to choose two, and I'm going to keep the overall highest and choose Save. You can link these to behavioral objectives if you've loaded those in your class. You can set up submission views. You can set up a specific report for this, this quiz. And then the last thing you'll want to select is layout and questions. And layout and questions is the area where you can add your questions. Now this quiz is empty, so I'm going to choose add and edit questions. In this area, I can either, you know, create a new question or I can import questions. Now I can import it from an existing collection or from a desire to learn text. I'm going to choose existing and I'm going to choose the question library. Many of you will probably build questions there. So I'm going to choose one of the source collections, select my questions, and choose save. Now I've added the questions to my, I'm going to choose done, and it's added the questions now to this exam. So I'm just going to choose save. So that's basically how you would utilize the quiz tool, how you would set up a new quiz, and how you would set up some of those restrictions and special access. Thank you for joining us in this tutorial.